the $2,500 Threadripper 7970X versus the $700 Ryzen 9 9950X 3D in a raw test, Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve has a raw speed test. Let's put these two head to head. But first, to give you a baseline, the 9950X 3D does about 42,000 plus points in Cinebench R23. Where the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 7970X, 32 cores, 64 threads, will do on average about 63, 64,000 points. So the 32 core Threadripper 7970X is actually about 50% faster in Cinebench than the 7950X, and roughly 35% faster than the 9950X 3D and the 9950X. The Blackmagic RAW speed test consistently hammers the CPU and the GPU for a CUDA score as well as a CPU score. It's running about 138 FPS on the 9950X 3D. This system here is called Deep Blue, one of my oldest systems, and it is a Threadripper 7970X with an RTX 5090 for the GPU. And you'll see here that the 8K CPU score is hitting at about 208 FPS with the 8K CUDA score, that's the 5090, at 280 FPS. So you can see some of the differences between a 16 core 32 thread processor and a 32 core 64 thread processor. I've been calling the Ryzen 9 9950X and now the X3D baby Threadrippers because they come very close to the performance of a Threadripper at a fraction of the cost. $2,500 versus $700. And the difference in this test is about a 33, 35% difference. It's, you know, run variance. So that's not bad. If you have a use for very intense workloads and you're really maximizing those 16 cores, 32 threads of a 9950X or X3D, you might want to consider bumping up to the Threadripper level. And to save a little bit of money, don't sleep on the Ryzen 9 7950X for workloads. This thing is only about 15% slower than the 9950X while giving excellent gaming performance as well. And don't forget things like Unreal Engine 5. The Intel Core Ultra 9 285K greatly outperforms the 9950X and 9950X 3D.